okay so let's discuss about what is a command fine right? so when whenever we are working with computers we need to get some task done so to get these tasks done obviously the computers have some inbuilt functionality but how do you initiate this functionality so to initiate this functionality you have to run that particular application or utility or program whatever is there you have to run that or execute that now how do we execute this particular program fine to execute this particular program we have to run that program in some particular manner we can run these programs or give the command to run that program in multiple ways it could be from the graphical user interface which you are seeing right now it could be from this particular command line or the shell which we have bash shell or it could be over the network and so many other different ways are there as you proceed further into your linux learning you will come to know the different ways but for the time being the two ways that we can run an application or give the command to run that particular application is either via the graphical interface or from the command line interface okay now from the graphical interface what is done is that whatever application we want to run it is installed somewhere and it has a executable file or it has its own command that can be called and executed now generally in a graphical interface your command is basically displayed to you as an icon you can go to the menu wherever is there dependent upon the uh, linux version which you are using you might get to see a different kind of menu and you could launch your application or program from there so generally on a graphical interface usually you are going to get your application and you can work with it here so i've started some game sudoku game over here and i can play this game so now in the background this application ran and its command was executed and i got to see this application now if you wanted to know what this particular name of this command is you could go to its icons property and you could see what is the launcher so the command is actually gnome sudoku so if i know this command i can run it from the command line now coming to command line in the graphical interface a user does not need to bother about knowing what exact command is but when we come to the command line we need to know the exact name of that particular command if we want to run that application program or script or whatever is there to execute that particular thing we need to know its name fine and then only we can execute it now before we uh, go into this on command line there are two aspects on a command line the commands can be distinguished into two parts one is a simple command which are generally used for our day to day work moving files renaming files or operating system based work and these commands are usually going to run give you some output and exit fine so it will they will just show you some output like if i say cal calendar is a command and i press enter it simply shows me the calendar and exits or if i say date it shows me the date and it exits so this is these type of programs small programs we refer as a simple command fine it works gives the output and exits apart from that we have applications like sudoku which we saw gnome sudoku now if i run this what's going to happen is that it is going to run and occupy my command command line until unless this is completed it will keep on taking the command line and once my work is done i quit this program then you will notice that i have back to my command line so applications keep on running they work in a interactive manner and the command type of commands fine they will get your work done and exit like clear is another command you can see over here when i press enter it clears the screen and i have my control over the terminal back again so there's a basic difference between commands and applications we will discuss about more details of how commands are used as we proceed into our further sessions okay